Hello everyone, my name is Zhe Zhou. I am a first year PhD student in Peking University, China. It is delighted to have the opportunity to share one of our researches here. The subject of my presentation today is SA phase towards scenario aware face recognition by edge computing system. As we all know, face recognition has been a promising technique for public security. Face recognition has experienced decades of development, and in recent years, benefit from deep learning techniques. The face recognition algorithms even outperform humans in some standard benchmarks such as LFW. In a deep learning best alpha flow, there are usually five steps. The first step is to train a alpha model based on large-scale training dataset. The trained alpha model is able to embed faces into high-level representations. The second step is to detect and align faces uh, in test frames. Then the aligned face is fed into the alpha model to get the representation, which is compared with the, the registered faces in a gallery. Finally, we get the face ID. However, deploying face recognition in real-world scenarios is still a challenge because of the vast variances between training data and test data. As we can see, the left picture shows a popular public training set, and the right picture shows faces in different deployed scenarios. We can usually find that there may be vast variances in head poses, illumination, and visual quality, which may result in significant accuracy drop if we deploy the trained model to real-world scenarios. So, how to build a robust face recognition system in real-world scenarios? A straightforward way is to collect more training data from the target scenario and then fine-tune the FR models. But this method needs us to label the training data, which is labor-intensive and cannot scale in reality. If we want to deploy the FR system to various scenarios, so we propose to use unsupervised online learning to adapt the targeted scenarios and leverage edge computing paradigm to natively solve the scalability issue. In order to generate the training data in a deployed scenario automatically, we leverage the implicit information from continuous frames in a live video stream. As illustrated in the picture, a face with the same identity may, may appear in several consecutive frames of a stream. Thus, we use fast tracking algorithm to obtain the fast track associated with one specific identity. For each track, we first select a face as the anchor. Then, we go through all other faces in the same frame containing the anchor. Obviously, the identities of these faces are different from that of the anchor. Thus, they are named as negative samples. The feature distance between anchor and the negative samples is calculated using the pre-trained alpha model. In the frame, frame, if there are more than one negative samples, we only pick the one that has the minimum distance from the anchor as a negative sample. Similarly, we go through all other faces in the same track, which are supposed to be positive samples. The positive sample having the maximum distance with the anchor is then selected. Finally, we get a triplet composed of an anchor, a positive sample, and a negative sample, which can be used to fine tune the FR model using triplet laws. Here is the workflow of SFS. We first try a FR model using the large-scale public dataset. Then the trained FR model is deployed 
in a targeted scenario where both the face recognition and online learning are performed. To build a scalable and efficient face recognition system, we partition and mapping the proposed workflow to a three-layer edge computing system. As we can see, on the right side, the top part is the pre-training of the FR model. This is a one-time step, which is performed on a cloud server. Then, this pre-trained model is sent to the edge servers as a starting point for FR inference. The middle part is responsible for FR model inference and online learning, which are deployed on edge servers. The middle piece of this part is a context-aware scheduler. It is responsible for runtime adjusting computation resources for online learning tasks. The goal is to avoid interfering the normal FR inference. The input data for both FR inference and online learning come from the last part, which is deployed uh, on each smart camera. This part is responsible for face detection, alignment, and tracking. This is the illustration of context-aware scheduling. We dynamically adjust the online learning batch size according to the edge server load in different contexts and different periods. This is the details of context-aware scheduling policy. Due to time constraints, it will not be explained here. To evaluate our proposed system, we implement a prototype. We use a high silicon smart camera as a camera node. We adopt a desktop PC with a high performance GPU as our edge node. The cloud is simulated by a GPU server. All these devices are connected by LAN. We build the training and the test dataset based on a private dataset used in previous work. The dataset has two video sequences from different scenes. We divide each scene, part for training and part for test. The dataset are labeled to evaluate the recognition accuracy, and the training sets are unlabeled and are used for unsupervised online learning. We adopt the VFS as our baseline algorithm. We fine-tune the initialized model by the proposed flow using video streams from the training set and test the verification accuracy on the test set. We perform experiments on three different FR models. The overall results are shown in the table. As we can see, with the help of the proposed flow, all the three models have obviously improved the accuracy. It demonstrates the deficiency of our proposed method. As mentioned before, we introduced a context-aware scheduling strategy to coordinate the online learning and inference tasks. As we can see, compared to the fixed batch strategy, our strategy shows a, a about a 32% relative improvement in online learning throughput. To further reduce the overhead of online learning, we also tried the so-called partial fine-tuning. We only fine-tune a part of the parameters while phrasing others in the face of online learning. As we can see, if we phrase some layers, we get great speed up, but the accuracy won't drop a lot. So we can have a trade-off between speed and accuracy. Since this is still an ongoing research, I just presented some preliminary results. Here I'm going to list some discussions and future works of SFS. Firstly, in this work, we only focus on first recognition problem. However, we believe that our system can be generalized to about many other tasks, such as person re-identification, since they share similar data flow. Secondly, 
We currently adopt an offloading strategy which allocates the fast detection, alignment, and tracking to the IoT devices and offloads other tasks into edge nodes. A better offloading strategy can be helpful if we adopt edge servers to do some detection or tracking tasks if they have spare resources. Thirdly, for online learning, there are two different modes. OSR mode, it collects chiplets all the time and performs online learning immediately after a batch of training data is prepared. The second uh, mode is called peri periodical training, which periodically fine tune the FR model. The differences of the two modes with respect to performance and accuracy remain to be discussed. Lastly, for further evaluation, we use two video sequences to evaluate SFS. It is better to deploy SFS in a more realistic scenario to evaluate its effectiveness, stability, and scalability. More works remain to be done. That's all. Thank you.